सत्यनायला इलॉन मार्क सुंदर पिचाई मार्क सकरबक एंड टीम कुक ऑल आर डेसिंग टू विन द ए आई अवार्ड कंपनीज लाइक माइक्रोसॉफ्ट गूगल मेटा एंड एप्पल आर हेविली इन्वेस्टिंग इन ए आई इफ यू थिंक यू ओन बी एफेक्टेड बाई ए आई वॉच द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन सेकेंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो दिस इज अ स्टोर इन वैनकूवर वर माई फ्रेंड ऑर्डर द कप ऑफ कॉफी एंड अ रोबोट वॉज एक्चुअली टेकिंग द ऑर्डर रिंसिंग द कप मेकिंग अ कॉफी एंड हैविंग अ कन्वर्सेशन विद माई फ्रेंड ए आई इज अ रियलिटी वेदर यू वर्क इन टेक और एनी अदर जॉब्स इट इज गोइंग टू एफेक्ट दिस ऑल एवरी वन वर्क टू माई चैनल आई एम आर्टिस्ट एंड डिजाइनर वर्किंग इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड टूडे आई एम हेयर टू टेल यू हाउ ए आई इज गोइंग टू एफेक्ट द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन ऑफ जॉब्स इन द लास्ट ईयर ए आई वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस टू द वर्ल्ड एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वेंट इन द शॉप सम पीपल गॉट एक्साइटेड बट मेनी गॉट स्केयर एंड द स्टिल आर I'm here to tell you that you have every right to be. You and I cannot escape this. To understand and predict the future, we need to understand three laws of Charles Darwin. Something he wrote 300 years ago is still relevant. Darwin's laws state three things: survival of the fittest, fight for existence, and natural selection. In this video, I'm going to explain these three laws in context of AI and how you can apply them to predict the future. We are now entering the second year of AI. But the first paper of AI was published by Alan Turing in 19 50 where he started the paper by asking can machine think he suggested that humans use available information as well as reason in order to solve problems and make decision so why can't machine do the same thing this was a logical framework of his 1950 paper computing machinery and intelligence in which he discuss how to build intelligent machine and how to test their intelligence many people are in denial saying ai will not affect us but i want to tell you you just don't know it yet everyone is talking about AI. AI and asking you to learn new skills but no one is explaining how AI is actually trained and what you can do to stay relevant in the age of AI what you should actually learn where AI cannot replace you Apple closed its car division and started investing in generative AI they integrated open AI into their system Google launched AI in rush to compete with open AI but you should be asking why are all tech companies investing in AI this is the first time in human history where we have a intelligence outside of human brain that can think understand and process data like human mind for the first time a computer engine have a intelligence of its own that is capable of processing data and give you good output when asked this is the exact reason why world is going to change in the next 5 years industry as we know will change drastically to make this easier to understand let's take an example from food industry imagine two people person a and person b person a wants to eat good food and have a good experience person b just want to eat something quick person a might go to a michelin star restaurant to eat and have good experience which not only satisfies his hunger but also provide a memorable experience person b on the other hand might go to a supermarket refrigerator section and just buy something quick both person a and person b is eating to satisfy their hunger but person a is also seeking an experience what ai is going to produce is equivalent to the refrigerator section of a supermarket however a michelin star chef can provide a experience that ai cannot replicate to stay relevant in the age of ai you need to provide an experience not just a service this is darwin first law survival of the fittest anyone who is mediocre in their job will not be required anymore only people with greatest skills will thrive in this age i am a designer and when ai was introduced people started asking me is design still relevant the answer is design is more relevant now than ever before and the number of design jobs will increase however getting those jobs will be much harder because companies will only want people with exceptional skills someone who knows how to integrate ai into their work and make it better and faster your next question might be who will replaced by ai the answer is simple if you can apply mathematical workflow in your job then ai can generate a template for your work which means ai will be able to do your job if your job consists of any kind of repetition then ai will be able to do it better than you ai is good at understanding rules and maths this understanding of rules and maths is what allow them to generate so much content who will benefit the most in the age of ai and what should you learn to exist the answer is simple original thinkers and those with pure in intellect will benefit the most this is a good thing because this will force human to do things which they actually love to do if you love doing something then you are already an original thinker in this area and you should pursue it you will be pushed to work on things you actually enjoy making this a brilliant time for humanity learn coding design 
art, anything you want to do and be really good at it. Charles Darwin theory says fight for existence. You need to adopt this technology in the fight to exist. Will AI change our lives for better? The answer is a resounding yes. AI is going to democratize information like never before. A student without access to good education can learn from AI and perform similar to a student with good education opportunities. We are truly entering an age where degree won't matter for a job at all. This is Darwin's third law of natural selection where we all get equal opportunities and nature will determine who performs the best. We are entering a new generation of sole entrepreneurial economy where everyone will work for themselves and, and provide service which they are really good at. I hope this video gives you a clear picture of AI and what's coming in the future. Thank you for watching this video and please like, share and subscribe and let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on AI and how you think it will change your work. If you are an old subscriber of this channel, please watch this video for the next 15 seconds. So last year I took a gap year to understand what's happening in AI and wanted to learn more about AI to make content which is actually useful. So thank you for supporting this channel and from now I'll be making two videos per week. One video will be on my design and other video will be on my artwork. Thank you for supporting and see you next week.